Hi Rick, there. I have a gift for you. Thank you. I hope you love it. Thank you. Open it. Go ahead. I feel like you deserve this. Oh no, I don't know what it is. <laughs> don't get too excited. You might be disappointed. Oh, I know. I know what it is. Yes. <laughs> Custom creams. <laughs> yes, listen. And, and John's not getting any. We're on the list of rescue divers. It's just a tourist cave. It looks easy, but when it's flooded, it's impassable. Firstly, I felt terrified, and then I also felt um, hopeful. Yeah. You guys all came together and you did this amazing thing, and we're living in such a divided time. So to see that moment, I think it's going to really touch people. Yeah, look, you know, I think in certain occasions, people do come together. Normally, they're adverse occasions. If only people could come together for not, you know, in normal times, everything would be better. How come you weren't scared? Like, I just don't get it. because It's it... easy to answer because I've done 20, 40 years of cave diving, so I didn't just leap in there. Uh, you know, I started small, take, took small steps, and over 40 years, a lot of small steps takes you a long way. So that was, you know, whilst we hadn't done the rescue, no one had ever done a rescue like that, it was sort of in our sphere of operation. So it wasn't, you know... We're happy in caves. It's hard to explain. Oh, we're, happy we're happy in caves. In caves. So it's not like that's most people's worst nightmare. Yeah. Underwater, yeah. in, in uh, cold water where you can't see anything, strong current, and there might be um, you know, lifeless bodies there. Most people wouldn't like that. No. Some aspects of that I might not like, but, but you know, we have dealt with that quite a lot previously. And so that's, you know, that's the reason why we were there, because we were among the best places on the planet you to be able to effect a rescue. You are so humble, it blows my mind. It takes a certain kind of mindset for the deep cave diving. You have to be a bit nuts. They're very, very dangerous. At a high water level and a low visibility. Barely shoulder wide. Pulling against very strong currents. I have a question to ask you before they rush you off. Um, Colin said, it was really daunting and he was really frightened about, you know, the swimming he and everything. Say that. Yeah. He, he didn't show that, though, to camera. I mean, that's the testament to his acting. He says that, uh, uh, that, uh, that when the trailer was leased, yeah. he didn't let that on to me and Jason, who were there. And it wasn't evident from looking Why? at him. And Vigo said something else which I found really fascinating. He said initially there was going to be stunt doubles, That's but right. then they had a moment where they were like, no, we want to get yeah. into this, we'll do the weekends, and we're going to work with you That's guys. Right. Well, How dedicated were they? So they were, I mean, they, we were there, Jason and I were there to train them to dive like us because our diving's quite esoteric and our equipment's are very unusual. And of course, they're good actors, uh, taking directing very well. So we showed them how to act like us, like a 40 year experienced cave diver. And they did that so well that there was no, I was actually the stunt double for Vigo B myself, but there was no need because for continuity and for facial shot, shots, it would be a lot easier if, if Vigo did the whole lot and they got completely on board with it. Final question, Ron Howard. Yeah. What's he like? I mean, to just get to know and become friends with him. Oh, I mean, he's great. Again, like, I mean, he's, but he's such a professional workaholic. It's he's, he's unbelievable seeing him work. And, you know, there are people that I've never been on a movie set. There were people there that worked on many and they were saying this is really, really unusual. And the vibe on the set was uh, really good because, you know, it's a feel good film. Uh, you know, the, the assembly of actors, Ron directing, it was, it was a, you know, I believe it was a very unusual, you know, set of circumstances. Not only the real rescue, but the creating the film. Absolute masterpiece. Make sure you share the customer. All right, if, if I must. Last seen nine days ago, 12 boys and their coach are trapped in the flooded caves. Hello? Hey. They're here. How many of you? 13. 13? They're all alive. Uh, can we go out now? 